Traders, today we are taking you through another indicator tutorial video. And this is all about the trend strength index or TSI. So you might hear someone say TSI, or perhaps you might hear them say trend strength index. Now, as usual, if you click the indicators, metrics and strategies button right up here at the top, you're going to get this wonderful pop up, drag it around, move it around anything you need. Then just search for trend strength index. Now, a lot of you come to TradingView and you're curious, what is this indicator? So let's talk about it. Now, for the new members out there, we're just going to go ahead and click. You can see and it, ha it has been added to our chart. We know that because it's been added down here to the bottom panel. So important to know that unlike some of the other indicators on TradingView, where you might see it appear on the chart. So for example, you've probably seen the simple moving average i tend to use this in all of our uh you know tutorial videos here's our simple moving average here well it's on the chart itself the trend strength indexer as mentioned tsi is in a separate panel so keep in mind you can change the size of this as needed you can double click it to make it a full screen but you can now see the price action at the top in the indicator at the bottom. And of course, if you move your chart around, they're going to sync up by each specific time interval. So why don't we now talk about what it is that we are looking at? So first of all, as always, you can click the tool tip here to get a deep dive into this indicator. It's also where you're going to find this exact video. So TSI, Trend Strength Index. Let's just talk about that name, Trend Strength Index. So what this indicator is doing is that it is trying to identify if a specific symbol is in an uptrend or a downtrend and how strong that trend is. Now, that might sound very simple, but that is quite literally what it is doing. It is that simple. Now, as always, no indicator is bulletproof. Nothing works 100% of the time. You might not agree with some of these calculations. And for example, if the indicator is closer to one up here at the top, that would indicate that it is rising in an upward trend at one being its strongest trend up. If it is all the way down here at what appears to be negative one, then the opposite is true. It is trending down. If it is at zero, it is trending sideways. Now we have different interpretations of trending upward, trending down, or trending sideways. So currently Bitcoin is trending upward based off of this indicator. You can see it's trending up. And actually, look at this. You can just confirm quickly with price, trending up. But not long ago, it was trending down. So it's trending down here. And then take a look. It was trending down. Now, what's interesting about this indicator, though, is that you should remember that it is using the data on the chart to get its calculation. And so sometimes you might notice that actually it is a contrarian indicator in that if it's all the way down here at negative one, perhaps what it's really plotting is old data, which means maybe the out with the old and with the new. But that's just one way to look at it. You can interpret an indicator like this in any way. But it's key you know the values on the indicator because that is how you can read it. Now, it is important, though, to fully understand the actual math of the indicator. You can always open up the indicator in PineScript, as I'm doing, and you can see exactly what it's doing. If you can understand a little PineScript, you can very quickly understand what it is that this indicator is doing. Now, what's important about this indicator that you'll notice when you look at it, look here is that it is a correlation, which means that you are largely charting the correlation of the symbol you're looking at and whether it is heading, heading upward or downward. Now, let's open up the specific settings menu here because now that you know it's a correlation, and by the way, it's very important that at this time we type in trend strength index, we click the tooltip. Always 
keep in mind that you can read about it right here on TradingView as well. So you can see here, the this indicator analyzes price momentum using the Pearson correlation coefficient, a normalized measure of the linear relationship between time series. Its output shows the correlation between the chart's closing prices and bar index values over a defined number of bars. So now that we know how it's calculated, let's talk about defined number of bars. Well, this no, this indicator is not just being created out of nowhere. Actually, you can click the settings menu and change the length to change the calculation. So if you want to calculate the correlation over 30, you can type in 30 and look at how different the chart changes. That's because now you're ingesting more data. It's not 14 days or 14, a length of 14 rolling. It's now 30. You could do this, you know, any way you want. Of course, one wouldn't really make much sense at all because it doesn't even it doesn't even calculate on one. But you could do if you wanted to five, five should pull something up. So I'm on a daily chart. Keep in mind, always know your time interval. I'm on a daily chart. So TSI of five, that's trend strength index being calculated over five, calculated over five days. So one day, two day, three day, four day, five day. So when you click the settings menu, you can adjust the length as needed. You can make it 100 if you wanted to. But remember, I'm on daily, so if you went now down to a minute, well now you're doing you know 100, 100 minutes. So now it's, it's not 100 days now, you have a one minute chart, it's 100 minutes. So you're calculating the trend strength index, which is the correlation, which is you're looking for how strong the trend is, up or down, and you can do that very quickly across a specific length of your choice just like this and that often helps bring an indicator like this together so always make sure you know that you're matching up the indicator with your specific length now in addition to that you can of course change the colors as needed there's a bullish and bearish color and it's important that we explain this in this video because that just brings the indicator indicator together more recall one is a very strong upward trend Red is a very bearish or weak down or strong downward trend. That'd be the better way to say it. So strong downward trend, strong upward trend, up, down. And you can see there's sort of this gradient green here and gradient red here. Well, you have full control to customize that as needed. And you can make it darker. Uh, you can either make the green darker or the red darker. And that's just a nice way to remind yourself, this is the bullish, this is the bearish and you have that capability to change that visual as needed. Now, as usual, you can match up the time frame with your chart. So I'm on a daily chart. So my, my indicators on daily, but I can look at a daily chart while having a 100 minute indicator up as well. So you can do multi time frame analysis, which we have tons of videos on our YouTube channel about just this. Now, if you go ahead and click style, this is where things get a little more detailed. And that is the simple fact that you have your trend strength index line here. So as you can see here, we can customize this specific line and its thickness. We can customize how it's designed. Choice is yours. And of course, you have your middle band, bullish band, and bearish band. So middle band is this gray dotted line. Bullish band is this green dotted line. We've spoken about this now numerously up here at the top bullish down here at the bottom red and you can change this color as needed and you can also change the line thickness or line design as needed as well visibility is if you want to see the indicator on specific time intervals so if you don't want to see it on a daily chart just uncheck it but if you now switch to an hourly chart for example here's one hour well you will see it so this is the trend strength index indicator high level overview how to access it how to read it what it means how to examine the calculation behind it and so that you know that ultimately it is a indicator that is taken into a correlation based off of the prior price history and if that price history is trending upward you're getting higher closes remember it's based off of a close very important detail then you're going to see the trend strength indicator as well continue upward. But of course, if it starts to roll over, 
well, you're going to see the indicator rollover. So there's there's a there's a there's a very tight sort of uh, tracking mechanism between this indicator, and now it's up to you to figure out how you wish to use this indicator because maybe it's lagging, maybe it's a delayed indicator. Maybe it's got great long-term signal. Maybe it works for some assets, but not for others. But you have the walkthrough now to get started with it as you need it. Thanks so much for watching. Check out all of the videos that we've uploaded, some 400 plus all about markets. And also be sure to read everything in our help center.